Hola everyone, this is Sincere Me12 here and um, this morning I just wanted to do a quick um, look on my Maybelline Designer Chocolates um, quad and I'm thinking of calling this look uh, Chocolate Covered Cherries and basically what I'm going to be using is three of the colors. I'm going to be using this dark pink here or brownish pink I'm gonna be using the brow highlight excuse me and then I'm gonna be using the milk chocolate color at the bottom um, yeah so basically it's gonna be a pretty simple look that I want to do and I just wanted to share it with you guys I just decided to do it this morning so I said why not do a video this is the first time I'll be using well, not first time using the quad, but actually the first time doing a video with the quad. So, um, yeah, I wanted to do that. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but the wind is really howling outside. It feels really cold. Um, the heat is on in my house, but it still feels cold outside for some reason. So, Or not outside, but it feels like it's really cold outside. I guess like through the windows, you can feel the... The, the air coming in and that bothers me. I like a warm warm house. Um, what else? Yeah, uh, please don't mind the stuffiness. For some reason I have I get winter allergies the worst and I can't barely breathe so it's like ugh, can you stop already but I've had I've been like this for like three weeks now it's the worst thing in the world. Alright guys, so basically I've already done my foundation routine, I've um, done my eyebrows, I've primed my lids, and I did some bronzing on my face, and now I'm just going to start really quick with the eyes. Um, so I'm going to go and dip it in the vanilla color, and I'm using the brush that I always use which is my light strokes by bare minerals and I'm gonna start highlighting my brow bone <clears throat> days like today make me want to stay home or go out in my pajamas and I'm not one to go out in my pajamas but it's cold outside and I still have to walk the dog I still have to take my younger son to the bus stop which is about like three blocks away. I don't know why they gave him that bus stop when behind my apartment com um, my apartment building there's a bus stop. So that's weird. But I have to walk him down there. So it's going to be tight, tight cold. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm actually in my pajamas right now. And tempted to go in my pajamas. But I have to go to work. Um have my well not mine my husband's sweet pajama pants on and then just a regular t-shirt sweater here because I was cold last night okay so the brow bone is highlighted now I'm just gonna take my regular eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into the warm pink that brownish pink I think it's such a pretty color. Gonna go and I'm gonna use that all over my lids. Okay. And this color, um, not this color, but mostly all Maybelline colors for some reason, they go on so nice and smooth. I like that. You know, especially for a drugstore brand, I think that that's one of their best features or qualities, the way they go on. Because, I mean, I've had other eyeshadows, drugstore brand, that just don't do it for me because I struggle to put them on. And I like these. They just, they go on nicely. So basically what I'm doing is just, you know, covering the lid and I've gone into the crease and a little bit to where the highlight is on the brow bone. And I just, I like packing on the color because the darker the color for me the better. I'm more into a 
dark eye kind of look but you know you can just do one stroke and if that's the if that's the color that you're looking for then I'm just gonna adjust my chair here if that's the color that you're looking for then that's fine too it's up to you yeah for some reason this morning I was thinking of what to do for my eyeshadow and I was thinking about my mom and my mom's favorite candies are chocolate covered cherries which are the bonbon looking candies and they have the cherry inside but it also has that gooey clear um, cherry tasting liquid which is the yum it's really good and she loves 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 those candies so I was thinking of her this morning and um, I guess she gave me the idea for my look my mom is the sweetest thing she is so simple she is not someone who expects so much from everyone she just you know, she's the simplest person in the world. You give her a box of chocolates and she's fine with it. You know, she she doesn't demand. Not that she doesn't expect things from people because, you know, she expects us to grow up and be mature and be the men and women that she brought us up to be. Um, you know, it, it, well, it was nine of us. Um, she had nine kids seven boys and two girls and I know that's a lot but um she was she is not was because she's still alive she's the best mom ever you know she she taught me to be a mom and she's just amazing and I say it was nine of us because um three years ago or almost three years ago, Valentine's Day, um, will be three years, I lost one of my brothers. And that was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to, to deal with. So, usually Valentine's Day becomes, it's, or has become a really hard part of my life. Like, my husband tries to to make it as happy as he can. I'm just gonna use this because there's a little bit of fallout. And you know, he tries to make make it a good Valentine's Day, but I'm still thinking about my brother the same day, so it's hard, but I know one day I'll see him again, so. All right, I'm just gonna take my elf eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip it into the milk chocolate and I'm doing both ends and then I'm gonna take this into the crease and down to the corner and then I'm using it in the crease like that so I can have more of a sharp edge but when I get to the corner right here I'm using it flat so that I can sweep some of that creamy chocolate or not creamy chocolate but that rich milk chocolate on that corner and cover the whole corner okay so I'm going back into the milk chocolate and then just again I'm using it at from the tip to do my crease and I'm taking it to where my eyebrow starts in the front taking it there It just gives me, I don't know, an easier way to do the crease. And now I'm using the flat side just 
to apply and kind of blend the corner because I don't want a harsh chocolate corner there. I just, I want to blend it into the pink. And then I'm just, you know, just taking it a little bit. I find that when I use the eyeshadow a little bit on the outer part, it makes my eyes look longer, especially because I wear glasses. I still haven't gone to get my contacts, and I don't know when I'm going to do that. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to go and do the other eye. So, as you can see, I've done both eyes. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm just going to dip this part of the brush in the milk chocolate. And then I'm just gonna, for some reason my brush is shedding. Um, just gonna trace the bottom part of my eyes. And it's just to bring my eye a little bit of warm. Because I'm still gonna go under there later. What uh with a pencil and you don't have to I mean if you don't want your eyes to look too dramatic then you don't have to you don't have to do that so what I'm gonna do now is a trick I learned um, Um, she is she has a YouTube cha channel and she's really good at her makeup and stuff like that I could be wrong but I think it was her she takes um, the highlight for her brow bone and you know we all usually put it in the corner of our eyes but she also blends it a little bit into the eyeshadow um, like in there and for some reason that makes your eyes pop a little bit more so I'm just gonna use a tiny brush I'm using this brush that came with my L'Oreal pigment um, and just dipped it into the vanilla and just going in just a little bit I'm going in the corner as well and then just brushing that just a little bit up into my eye so I can get that kind of like an eye opening thing Again, the corner and then just blending it in just a little bit okay. I don't know if you can see that but that's just basically the look I'm gonna go um, throw on some eyeshadow um, not eyeshadow eyeliner some mascara some blush and I'll be back to show you everything together. Um, I would use a brown pencil, but I don't think I have one. I have to look to see. I might have one. And if I don't have one, um, I do know that I have a brown gel liner, so I'll probably be using that. Um, what I'm going to do is just put eyeliner all over my eyes and trace the bottoms and then throw on some mascara and some blush, and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. So this is a quick look at what I did. Um, basically, just threw on my Eye Studio um, brown gel liner, and then I just lined my eyes and put some on the waterline. Um, threw on some blush, some nude lips, excuse me, nude lipstick, and some mascara. And I'm ready to go. So I will see you guys next time. Got to go get ready for work. Throw on some clothes. And just be out. So have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed the look. If you guys have any questions or any comments. Please feel free to let me know. And I'll be more than happy to um, answer any questions that you may have. Bye.